Hi, I'm Vanessa DeBerle, and this is where you can learn how to turn your passions into profits. Today, I'm going to share with you how to fill in my data spreadsheet that I use to fill in my analytics from month to month so that I can track it and see how I've improved. And I mentioned this last week in a video. I've got that video up here, but in the video, I shared with you how I track and a lot of people emailed me and said, but where do I find all of that information? I apologize. I apologize that I did not go over that. That's not what the video was about as much as I want to share it with you. So this video, I am going to go into details on where to find the information to plug into the spreadsheet. And you can hit the link below and get that spreadsheet. And this video will show you how to fill it in. And it's going to be valuable information that you can look at with, you know, just open it up, see how you've been doing, see your improvement, and it'll keep you motivated. To start out with, I want to show you the spreadsheet that I shared last week. And just so you can get an idea of what we're talking about in case you didn't watch that video. But what I do, I've been monetized just a little bit over a year. And as you can see, I can, I have added some columns <laughs> as I, as I learn about the different information, but on here, I track um, my views, my watch time, my subs, um, how much I get paid, how many total subs I have. Um, of course, over here are added subs. Uh, the average for at 48 hours, I have vidIQ that I use and I'll show you that. And I just track how many views am I getting every 48 hours roughly. And then I talk about RPM, CPM, view duration, uh, click through rate, and then traffic you to SERP traffic suggested and traffic external. I'll show you where to find all of that in your analytics. I'm not going to go over it as much as what it is and what they mean as much as how to plug them in because that would make the video too long. Um, I do have other videos you can watch that go into all these different things as well as you can Google it and find it on YouTube from lots of different YouTubers. So let's just talk about how to fill these things in. Let's go over to my analytics page here and I'm going to take a tracker, the one that you're going to use uh, in that link that you're going to see. The first thing on the tracker, the first thing on the traffic uh, tracker is views. So we're going to go into January. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the analytics page and then up here, you're going to go, let's go into February and we're going to track how my um, channel did in February and I'm going to track everything on that analytics page. So obviously we saw that we had views. I'm going to go ahead and do a split screen. Let's do a split screen here. So views, as you can see, are 7.8 thousand. You have your watch time hours right here, 3.97. And you can do, you know, however you want to track it. 3.98, you can round um, the next one. Now those are hours. The next one is how many subs did I add that month? 96. Add it. What did I get paid? 242.93 and total subs. So at the end of that month, right now I'm at 3240, but right here where you see real time, that's the number you're going to grab. So it's going to give you a rough, obviously this is where I'm at now. This is not where I was in um, January. Well, February, we're doing February, but that's okay. Um, so that's 3240. Um, average views. Now I watched this throughout the month. I talked about this earlier. I use a vidIQ. I talked about this last month or last week. I use vidIQ right here. Um, it's a Chrome extension and I can just hit this anytime during the day and it's going to tell me what's happening live right now. Right here, my views have gone down just 11%. My minutes watched have gone down. Now, I don't want you to watch this and go, oh my gosh, things are going down. It's crazy. You'll watch it one time and things are going down and the next time you watch it, it's going up. It's up and down, up and down. The key is you want to keep improving overall. But live time, right now, I am hitting five to 600. I'm steadily, lately, staying at 600, but Basically, I'm um, five to 600 views every 48 hours. So what I put here, according to vidIQ, now remember, I've been watching it all month. I'm not quite staying at 600. So I just put 500-600 so that I can track. Now, once I know that I'm at 600 and I'm not going back into the 500s, then I'll start saying 600 and so on. RPM. Now, this is where um, some people, I think, were having trouble where they go. All right, so now we're going to go under revenue. And the RPM for the month is 3123, 31.23. That means every thousand views on average of all my videos, I was making roughly $31. Over here, the CPM 
is 69.74 and it says I've gone up since last month that's good you want these to go up now view duration view dur okay let's look at view duration view duration is over here where you look under engagement and for that month it was 3.04 my click-through rate you're going to see it under reach and for that month i was at 4.7 so you can see things have gone up things have gone down it's okay it's not to get you uh, depressed if something went down it's to let you see where am i improving where am i going down now if you want to really get fancy you can go in and highlight these numbers in green or red to show that you've gone up or down it depends on how much you want to get involved now where is my traffic coming from you want to stay under reach right after you put your ctr your click-through rate the higher that number is the better you definitely want to be over two percent um, the higher like i said the better traffic sources now here my average for that month uh, youtube search that's the first one was 54 percent and suggested videos was 19.8 percent and then traffic external was 14.6 percent so if you put your youtube video on youtube or in instagram and somebody watches it from there it's going to be an external view people aren't coming into the youtube channel to watch it also if you put it on a website it's going to be viewed there you'll still get the views you'll still get credit but it's being watched externally and youtube likes to track that now why is all how is this going to help me this just gives you a bird's eye view it lets you see everything in one shot like i said earlier in my video last week you can see all of this information like i just showed you but it's not all laid out nice and neat for you so that you can compare i hope this was helpful hit the link below it's yours also the vidIQ that I'm using people had asked about that I have a link for that down below as well enjoy if you have any questions feel free to ask and thank you for watching